Toe spacers are a great affordable option for improving foot health and preventing foot issues in the future. They assist with improving the orientation and alignment of the foot while helping also to alleviate the tension that can accumulate through years and years of wearing a shoe. Now, not all shoes are like this, but most are. What happens is the widest portion of the shoe is at the metatarsal heads. But what you can see on my feet, the widest portion of the toe is actually the toes, not the metatarsal heads. So over time, what this does is this tapering toe box brings that foot in and that distal aspect of the foot becomes more narrow. If you've looked at a baby's foot, especially, you can see that they have quite a wide foot. Uh, and we tend to change that when we wear shoes. So over time, as that foot narrows, we tend to have problems. I see a lot of subtalar issues that I have to treat um, because it gets quite rigid from this orientation of the foot. Your interdorsi muscles between the metatarsals can get quite tight, sometimes causing things such as Morton's neuroma. But primarily, it brings the angulation of the big toe in. Now what this does is it causes a mild collapsing of that arch and limits first toe extension, which we require for push off in walking. So you have three points, big toe, small toe, heel, to create that tripod of the foot and a good solid arch. As we start to lose that first toe and it goes in, we kind of lose that tripod. And you can see even just with me wearing this elastic band around the toes, it's starting to kind of drop in. This can, over time, lead to what people refer to as a bunion, where the angulation of the first toe comes out and we can't quite correct it. But toe spacers can help prevent that and hopefully avoid it from getting any worse. So, when wearing a toe spacer, approximately five to 10 minutes to start a day after you get home and take off those shoes can help to alleviate that tension and orient that foot more appropriately. So barefoot around the house, again, to start about five to 10 minutes a day as you grow more accustomed to them and don't have discomfort as much, you will have discomfort with these. They can quite irritate the toes on a regular basis um, initially, but I know people that wear from hours, um, even people that sleep with them. And following that, as you improve the toes um, and orientation of that foot, a couple strengthening exercises, such as the short foot, which is through there, is a raising of the arch and uh, working on that tripod um, control. And even foot uh, toe intrinsic strengthening exercises, both of these exercises will be linked below. And even a foot first toe strengthening um, and mobility exercise. As I was saying, as you kind of move forward, you can get into what a more appropriate toe box um, shoe. I wear a lot of Vivo barefoot, but there's a lot of other brands. Lems, Hookah also make different ones, Ultra as well. And what you can see is you don't have as much of that angulation of that first toe coming in and you have more room for that foot. Now with these shoes, if you are transitioning to them, do know they will take a little time to get accustomed to. They are great, but especially if you're a runner, don't just jump into them. Slowly build up those, that time with them. And that is a little bit of a summary of why toe spacers are a good affordable option um, for just improving foot health. If you have any further questions, please comment below. And as I said, I'll link a couple little exercises that you can work with alongside using toe spacers at home.